At the heart of Whitchurch Silk Mill, our historic water wheel has been turning through rain or shine to keep the mill in action for over a hundred years. However, like much of the rest of the world, in 2020 the wheel fell dormant. As we all kept busy working from our homes, the mill and its wheel patiently awaited for our return. Now that that time has come, unfortunately this period of rest has not left the wheel unscathed. We now need your help to restore this vital piece of Whitchurch Silk Mill history. Good afternoon, my name is George Oakham and I'm one of the volunteers here at the beautiful Whitchurch Silk Mill. Um, there's been a wheel on this site for a very, very long time, but in the 1890s, when John Hyde took over the mill from its previous owners, he decided to upgrade it to a modern steel or cast iron and steel wheel, wrought iron, um, and that's the one that we have here today. Every between 10 and 15 years, depending on all sorts of conditions, the wood needs to be replaced, and this was last done in 2014. And we had lots of visitors very interested in what was going on, as I was the other side of this opening, uh, adding the timbers. There are a number of stages to replanking the wheel. Um, the first thing is to put in what are called the starts. There are 90 of them, and they're basically oak pegs that are hammered into each socket around each of the three wheels, and then held in by a pin. The next pieces that go on are called the backboards. These are full width, they were nine foot one inch, pieces of oak, one inch thick, that go flat against the wheel and basically gives the idea that with the floats, which is what we call the paddles, it gives a kind of pocket for the water to hit. After we've done the backboards, we add on the floats, which are the pieces that stick out. And those are quite interesting here because not only they bolt to the on, but they keep the backboard in place as well. So the backboard is held on by three bolts, but also by the positioning of the float. When that's all done, we then start it up and we keep running it nicely and nicely every day if we can. The visitors love it. And all it then needs is greasing in the two bearings. During the pandemic, we also had the issue that the bearings were not greased as often as we could get to them. And that means that they're a bit rubbishy at the moment. We didn't have the money to change them uh, in 2014, but the latest renovation is will make the mill wheel turn for the next 50 years. Any donation towards the Keep the Wheel Turning campaign's goal of £6,000 would be greatly appreciated to help restore this historic fixture of our living history. If you decide to donate, you could be eligible for a variety of rewards. These range from discounts in our shop, to a tour of the mill wheel, or having your name recorded and displayed as one of the sponsors of the project for up to 15 years. If you do not wish to donate online, please speak to reception about a donation form. From everyone here at Witchert Silk Mill, we'd like to thank you for keeping our history alive by keeping our wheel turning. <laughs>